going? How's it Yay! Going? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and Brett. Happy Fempreneur Friday, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. Um, yeah. Feeling yeah, good. so it's Friday to come back. But we're talking about mastering your intentions and mastering your intention setting. And yeah, Brett, let's start it off. So yeah, this is kind of, it's kind of a joint topic, but it's based on like, I guess our topics always kind of relate to what we've been through in the past week. Um, so I've really been focusing on attention setting. And um, I don't know if any of you you are familiar with like um, Abraham Hicks publications, that whole series, Esther and Jerry Hicks, but they have this whole law of attraction kind of manifestation series that they do. And I've been reading these books for years and years, but I really kind of wanted to refresh my memory and kind of study them again, just because of the place that I was in and the place that like, the world is kind of in right now. Everybody's a bit stressed. Everybody's kind of uncertain. There's a lot of uncertainty out there and there's kind of a lot of fear. So I just really have been trying to very intentionally curb any negative thoughts that might come up. And Abraham Hicks really helps me to do that. Um, I most recently re-listened on Audible instead of actually reading the hard copy, but that was great too because it really got in my head and in my mind. So to bring it back a little, for any of you guys who do not know what intention setting is, it's when you, it's kind of like a mini goal. Like it's when you have a very specific, like a vision for your day, for your time period ahead. And you set that vision, set that intention for um, Through Esther and Jerry Hicks, they always say like, I intend, I expect, and I allow. Um, and then that is like their kind of tool for bringing about an intention. And so like, there's kind of like large scale intention setting like you can set an intention for the next couple months you can set an intention for your next year but then there's also like segment intending which is really important because that's a bite-sized way to kind of intend what you need to do next what you envision next what you see next and that's like for example like um like maybe say before this i'm like um stacy and i are gonna have a fantastic femfner friday our talks are gonna be amazing we're going to reach and connect with um so many people i'm gonna have so much fun doing it and i'm not even gonna be attached to the outcome because i'm just gonna have so much fun doing it but when you speak that positivity that um that approval over what you say little segment is next in your life even if it's like I'm driving, going to drive to work and my drive is going to, I intend, I expect allow that my drive is going to be so safe and so fun. I'm going to listen to so much great music and I'm going to feel so zened out. And, you know, um, just by like setting those micro intentions, it like builds up. And that's the thing I forgot this week and then had to remind myself of, because a lot of times when you're stuck in a rut or feeling like nothing's moving, um, you can be like, man, my manifestations aren't working. This like, altering my thought thing that's not real that's not really working but it is real and it really does work if you do and and when you step back and real really like man all right so this this shit i'm going through is really hard but i know that it'll be worth it because i'm segment intending i'm building new thoughts and creating new thoughts every day because eventually you're you're in your mind you're creating a new storyline you're telling yourself a new story so that in the external world your internal story aligns with that and matches up with that so i've really been doing a lot of intention setting and a lot of aligning um which i even went even deeper on because alignment is not just like you know I'm feeling good and you know, I feel, I feel, I feel aligned because a lot of people are saying that these days, but aligned is really being all your, your mind, your thoughts are focused on the same thing. Your body is alignment within what your thought is thinking and like your soul is in alignment with everything. So it's like body, mind, soul, and that is alignment. And when you have that alignment, you can, set intentions and see the results so much more quickly. Um, and that's what really happened for me this week. When I started 
and clearly just like writing down my story and not just telling it in my head. Then stuff started coming up this week. I manifested two thousand dollars, two thousand five hundred dollars. I manifested oppor like opportunities and I manifested orders. I manifested like a lot of stuff just because I not only was like changing the you know trajectory of my mind and like um you know when i feel oh bad low kind of you know picking myself up or he heightening my vibration but i was actively giving my mind new thoughts new positive storylines new things to replace the old thoughts with and when you replace a thought you know the old one can't come back in the same way and that's what i also forgot because mm -hmm. it's really like you're that's how you build your foundation that's yeah. how you build this force field of positivity, movement, light around you is by incrementally, you know, cleaning up your thoughts, making them higher, making them nowhere off balance with what you really want. Only thinking and saying about what you do want to happen because mm -hmm. what you don't want like it happen, that'll manifest too, if you think about it long enough, you know? So it's pretty, it's been a pretty great week for me. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I love this. This is such a great topic and, you know, great, like, opposite weeks. I feel like, ah, oh, I was, like, kind of, good, like, just grappling for things. Um, but it's so great to come back and talk about it here. And we were talking right before we went live about just how we have to remember to kind of, like, integrate these things and use the tools that we have and keep going. And when it's, when we were talking about, like, the top of the year and, like, what a lot of people are doing is, like, yeah, setting these massive goals and all of these things. And sometimes, like some of the stuff that we talked about right before the year closed was like, we can look at our goals and the things that we want in our lives and we can feel lack. We can feel like they're not going to happen or they're, we're not there now. And it can make us feel so bad. So, you know, I love this different like change in not only focusing on the big thing that we have and still having that as our desire but not like having it kick us in the butt that we're not living that now what can we do now how can we set intentions and that's what I really what I see with you Brett is like you switched it to like wait a minute how can I set my intention for like today for my being for my mind body and soul right now and what's like totally in alignment with where I am right now and what's like my next best move Right. And um, yeah, it, it comes back to presence. And we were talking about really like trusting in ourselves. And when you're talking about alignment, um, what really feels resonant to me is I, I love how you said mind, body and spirit, like having all of those things, three things fit. And when yeah. they're not like looking at what's not fitting. So it could be like, like you're talking about opportunities, opportunities come like, it may feel like, yes, logically I should do this, but maybe in your gut it's feeling like, no, this, the monetary thing sounds great, but actually doing this process is not what I want to do to get there because right. it's still off. Right? right. And then sometimes, sometimes we compromise one part of it for the other part just to get there faster. And it always yes, blows up in our face. Right. And that's the rush. Yeah. That's the rush about it. That's the, um, you know, not being integrity, not being in integrity about it. And like, okay, okay, let's wait, right? There's still a waiting period because there's something else that lines up in all of those areas. Right. And we're saying things that are perfect because sometimes things that we want to do and challenge ourselves doesn't feel like it's easy. That right. doesn't mean that's the case. Or it doesn't mean that there's any resistance. Like, you know, even with working out, right? We don't, it doesn't feel like, uh, like you want to do that, right? But maybe there is something that you can do that but feels like both of the areas. Like, can you dance? You can change that. And that's what I also forgot. Because you, like, you know, it can be easy, but our minds make it hard. Yes. And like, we, it, it's really like ro reprogramming your mind, right? Okay, like take working out, like, because I've been kind of struggling with that this week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like when you... Or health, you know, health in general for me. Yeah. So when you but, when you have the, go into it with the mindset like, ah, this is going to be hard. Oh, I can't. Oh my God. But if you're into it, like, man, I love working out. I love working out every single day. Working out makes me feel amazing. It helps me feel aligned. It helps my body feel aligned, but then makes my business feel more aligned like when you keep doing that it I forgot that it really does make it easier and it makes yeah. it feel just like 
effortless almost yeah. like because you're you've shifted your alignment you've shifted right. your point of attraction so you're not resisting that thing and instead that thing is drawing to you and you're drawing to it and then you're like wow like i just had a great time working out and i right. used to hate working out but now my mind loves to work out so my body loves to work out and you know i just feeling good in it but yeah exactly i mean those things like that you know, we're using workout as a, like an easy example. And, um, you know, something I remember talking to my brother about, he's doing a lot more, actually, he's been doing TikTok, if he ever, if he watches really? it. Really? Yeah. And um, so he just started his TikTok and he's been like posting like every day and just people that are interested in getting on social media. I think like for us, it's like becoming easier and so on. But one thing I reminded him was like, you know what the thing is, and, and you talked about this right before, um, maybe some people signed on, you talked about like unattachment, right? What are you going to that thing for? So like w whether it's working out or your business or when you're deciding to show up on social media, like are you going to get something? Like are you going to get validation? Are you going to like get feeling loved, get all of these things? Or are you going to share yourself? Right. That is a huge difference because if you come right. here or – approval you most likely won't get it because how you're showing up is already in in approval of yourself or in you're already in the other part but yes. if you're here and you're like filled up or you're just coming as is or coming as you are you know it doesn't mean that you like may not have those things but it's just like noticing first where are you coming from you know exactly yeah and no that's yeah, it. And it's allowing I think I really love, yeah, like allowing has been like such a huge word and season for me right now. Um, so like allowing things to change, allowing them to adjust, allowing things to, you know, move because that's the only way to the, to what you really want to accomplish. Like, um, that's why they say sometimes like when things change, they stay the same. It's because like you're trying to change something as opposed to like, allowing what is to be right and, and you know getting to the next step you know when we're so focused on you know what's the next place we're supposed to be we're just like not in here where where we are right now getting the lessons and the things that we're supposed to get right now in order for us to get to the next step does that make sense exactly yeah because presence is a huge part of it too yeah um but so yeah um esther hicks in in the you know uh in the books she says something about like um similar to what you just said but like about when you're say okay you know you want this huge following on tiktok or whatever yeah um and you're and then maybe like you get frustrated because you don't see that happening. She mm -hmm. suggested to whatever it is to ask yourself, you know, why? And then give yourself these, give and speak these reasons like, oh, well, you know, I want to do it so I can touch more people's lives. I want to do it so I can transform the mindset of more people. I want to do it so I can elevate people as I elevate. I want to do it, you know, because if you're saying these why, then it's just not like some shallow validation reason. Yes. It goes deeper than that. Yeah. And yes. your invalidation really is internal. But, <clears throat> you know, like we forget that. We forget that so often. Yeah. You know what? That's so good. That's such a good reminder. And also, like having those beings, like I want to impact people, you know, I want to impact the people that come around me, all those things, like having that at the forefront, then you're not like, you're, you're not jagged when there's two people there, because that's what you're there to do. You're impacting people's lives. Like it's already fulfilling all of the things. And then you can let all the other stuff just add upon you. And it just flows. It literally yeah. just flows because yeah. you've, yeah. you've created this energetic like force field of how you want things to go and flow around you. So yes. it can't, it can't not happen. It can't not flow into alignment because you've, you've created this, you created these energy waves and you're and by the way that you're thinking, you know, yes. so mind well, blowing week. Yeah. I love <laughs> this mastering intentions. We're talking about mastering intentions, especially in the new year. Um, if you're on, you know, share with us how your first week is going. Um, we'd love to hear. And for me, you know, for me, it's about like taking different adjustments and, um, you know, something that I've been really like intentional about is really listening to intuition or listening to like the little nudges. And I talked, I've been talking to my brother and just like people in my world, clients and stuff about this lately. 
and really noticing that sometimes when we are like fear and intuition, they can be like so similar where we don't know how to decipher which is which. And um, fear tends to come in as like even screams in our head, like like warnings. And um, our intuition necessarily feels like more like nudges or like, you know, like little whispers. And just noticing like kind of like where we're going. So it's just like yeah. really all about like how we closed up the last week with my mastermind, um, La Aruna, which is still going on. And yeah, also, how's it, how is it? How's it going? Tell us. So powerful. So powerful. Even for myself, I'm just like seeing how, yeah, things are moving. People are listening to their intuition and really like holding each other to like listen to those parts and seeing how it's manifested. Like people have manifested some crazy stuff. Just like you said, like, you know, opportunities, um, you know, speak one thing into existence and like, okay, I'm going to follow this nudge. And like the yeah, next the nudge. huge opportunity from a huge, you know, company. And, um, and one of the girls also manifested a place, like a second home. So wow. Like this. So it, it's, it's going really well. I'm excited. So take Stacey's classes. What happens? <laughs> what happens at the end of the year? Um, and even for me, you know, I was like, okay, like what's, you know, what is pulling me? And um, I've, I had two opportunities to kind of step back into the beauty industry and also just like work away from home, which I haven't done in a couple of years now. And yeah, like, you and know, you're learning new techniques. I'm learning, yeah, I'm like, okay, you know, like, it may not look right on paper for everyone or how it all fits. But like, and then cares? things stop us, right? Like, we're like, Oh, but to everyone else, this may not look like it fits, or why am I even doing this? But it's a nudge, and it, there's something there, and it could necessarily not even be the thing itself. It could be who it leads you to, the conversations you have, you know, where are you going to be on your path to get there? And right. like that I'm like, okay, just trust, you know, just trust. Like, there was one time where I was just like on my way, some people know this story, I was like on my way to um, an old spa studio that I had with an old business partner, I was just like on my way walking there. And I ended up getting a, um, a SAG commercial because someone stopped me. And, um, and I ended up being in a Chevy commercial. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I and that I got 30, like, I managed $30,000 out of I remember that. That. Commercial. I, that blew my mind. I was just like, blew Wait, my own mind. What, and, do you remember? And that when was it you said that was uh 2017 i believe because it's right after i left my position at laser way and um you know like not only that it was like confirmation that you know what you're still taking care of you're still gonna be okay and like that's what like allowed me to travel and allowed me to like step into my new career um back in 2017 it really allowed me to like you know take uh tony robbins and like all that was amazing development go to Columbia, visit um, Christina. So it, it really gave me a way to just, you know, have a little uh, expansion. Yeah, but it was yeah. all the time. So like I said, like it may not actually even be the thing, but sometimes where you're called to be just is leading you to where you're necessarily meant to be for the next step. So so my mastermind is called Ala Aramuna. It's like the divine assignment mastermind. Um, so I'll be talking about that again later because we're going to open up enrollment, um, maybe again to, to like <laughs> add some people to our, our, um, yeah, our group, but it's been going amazing. And, um, and you know what conversations like this help push things, th these things forward, you know, like yeah. having these conversations like weekly and, um, being able to, you know, feel each other's frequency. You know, I was like, Oh, I'm not sure how everything's going. But as when I got on this call with Brett, she's like, yeah, and we do this and we do this. And I was like, yes, you know, like back in the frequency. So Which is great. Yeah. Because around you in community. Yeah. Yeah. And like, but because I mean, some days we're reversed, right? Like some days I feel that way. And then you're, you're super hype about something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything's going to be okay. Like, cool. Great. Um, but yeah, no, I think that that's the importance of community. And that's why we're really building, cultivating, creating this Femme Friday community. Because um, as women, especially during this day and age, like, 
it's, you know, it's hard out here, especially when there are people who are in lack mentality and limitation mindset and, you know, raining doubts on your dreams. It's like, you got to have, you got to have that unshakable faith. And for me, this year is really like, I mean, everybody says this phrase, but it's for real, for real, it's like the year of yes, you know, because like, I, I do this thing where I have these like big, you know, like white um, butcher paper sheets. And every year I do a, I do a blueprint um, and a, like a blueprint write out kind of like roadmap of what each of my companies are going to achieve and accomplish. And this year when I did it, Usually I have like a lot of structure building to do. I have a lot of like, okay, I need to make this program. I need to create this th this container. But this year felt so good because I was like, damn, I built all these containers. I have all this foundation. I have all these structures. And now I can just have fun and mm -hmm. fill them up and like do what I love. Great. Yeah. Like, so it's just like the year of yes, but that doesn't mean like saying yes to shit you hate, you know, like it's about saying yes to self love to your higher calling to um, alignment to your divine assignment to yeah. purpose, whatever it is. But um, I think because I've done so much like prep work, groundwork, like just energetic cleanup and um, heightening my frequency and getting rid of negative thoughts, all that stuff that I've been working on. It's like created space for me yeah. to be like, okay, now I can yeah. just like do it. Have fun. Be free. Yes. And you know what? I love this. I love this because it's just like the process, like um, it, the process feels slower sometimes than we would want it to be but the process is slow it is slow um i read recently i think it was neo about neo like he had you know it was 10 years to have him be an overnight success you know like yeah it feels that way you know just like day in and day out but just like um coming back to like trusting ourselves and trusting like okay this is my path and this is still what i love and it keeps on bringing me here and that do we want it to be done? You know, like <laughs> if it's done, we know the thing already. Actually, like this is the dream. And you know what? We were we were going back to Kobe. <laughs> um, Kobe was talking about that, how like this is the dream. The dream was like getting up every day and like working out. And, and we think that it's like the destination part of it, but it's really like the, this is actually the dream part. Yeah, um, it's about falling in love with that part of it. Yeah. I think we used to talk about that a lot. We used to... Yeah have this thing, just like this conversation about like romanticizing our lives right but yes. that's a lot about falling in love with the process you know and falling in love with the bits that may seem like little mundane annoying little tasks but that's you building your foundation it's you um strengthening your frequency and heightening your vibration and right that, i mean we have to be stronger than ever right now really because right just and, like, then, and then we're talking about things change and like when the things change everything changes and yeah. we miss things that are like here and available when we're already there so like why you know like like for us being excited about manifesting 2500 like that that's amazing right but there'll be a day that that feels like pennies like that feels like yeah nothing. no i but know it's so fun that it feels like a lot today you know and it's important though because i yeah. do remember that i i, do, I kept reminding myself of this you know like when that came in and I was just like because you know I manifested different sums of money before yeah. but it's like for each sum you have to like give that gratitude no oh. matter what it is and even if it's like because I got a check the other day like I don't know Bank of America is shady but I got a check that was like a dollar and 40 something cents just randomly and in, in the mail and I'm like all right but thank you you know <laughs> I don't know what this is but thanks thanks exactly. <laughs> it's money it's free money so yeah. More Whatever. of this. More of this. Yes. More of this. Thank you. Thank you. More, please. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. More, please. Is what you got to keep saying. Yeah. Exactly. Because we're teaching also just like the universe of how to like, you know, interact with us, especially around money. That's huge. Yep. Huge. And then I think when you do get new batches, new manifestations roll in, I think it is like 
especially during Capricorn season and just like um, the times where, you know, money wants you to be responsible with it. And it's like, well, okay, now that I have this, like, how do I make this work for me in the best way possible? How do I make it work for um, other people as much as possible? How do I impact as many people as, you know, possible with this? Because, you know, then more can come, then you're enjoying it, then you're giving and receiving and operating in like a, just an, an energetic transaction, you know? So. Mm. Yeah, energetic flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I guess the last thing about like intention setting and mastering is um, Brett was talking a lot in the beginning about um, writing your story or writing the things into intention, what you really want and how I, how I see it too, is like that we are placing like little prayers, like what we're saying and what we're, because it's like coming out of us, right? It's like an energy. So we're putting it out into the physical world. So like when things are in our head, it's like not really necessary. It is frequency, but it just builds more frequency by saying and putting it out here in the physical world. And then the next step is writing it down. That yep. also takes the thought into something physical and yes. out there in the physical world and how you can keep on like building momentum on that. So I love how you That's said so that. That's so key. Back to that. Okay. And also... One thing that I share with my clients is reading it and also adding more frequency to it. So whether you're like, you can record it on your phone, listen back yeah. while you're um, working out because you add it whatever works for you to your thoughts and what you're saying and what you're planting. And that's so key. Yeah. Yeah. And so we do is like, you know, think about plants. It's your like, hair looks amazing, by the way, when you just oh, did that. <laughs> it's a switch stop. Wow. <laughs> And it's like three days, like three days out of the system. Amazing. Coming alive. <laughs> um, talk about come alive. So I have one too. Yay! Okay, <laughs> yeah. Planting. Some things like our, when we look at our lives now, it's just the results of what we have planted and what we've been feeding. And yes. one of the favorite lines I have is, um, you know, whatever you want to, I mean, sorry, hold on. My favorite line in the can <laughs> Um, <laughs> easiest way to kill something off is to not feed it. Yes, I've been saying that too. Oh, yeah. Let go of the things that you don't want to feed. You know, like allow. Like the thoughts are gonna come. That's already. It's a habit now, right? It's like we have been having this forever. But if we yeah. can just allow them to just like, okay, I see you. Keep on going. No feeding. Yeah, be the ones that you really want to manifest and come into your life. And then soon you're going to be seeing those plants growing and the other ones dying off. Yeah, because it's like, um, I always say the quote, it's like it, uh, the old will um, die away or, or like vanish or dissolve, you know, the more you build the new or it's like build the new and the old will dissolve from lack of attention. Yeah. So it's like when you're thinking about these new thoughts, these new, this new story, you know, um, and then you're just not giving attention to anything that you don't want, that just has to die away because that's the energy and that is a law. Um, yeah. And so, and then, but you, when you said about reading it, that I just had an epiphany, like, oh, it's because like, why things started rolling for me so fastly is because I had, I, I you know, had these things written down have them in me like they're deeply in just everything was in my head but I wasn't speaking out mm -hmm. these things and when I mean speak that's like bringing it to the physical plane like bringing it out of you yeah so when I did that everything started like integrating and moving faster so yeah yes all right Brett we're on it we're on something uh, congratulations <laughs> yeah. to complete your first year I mean first week of the new year um, you know, if we're, if you're just viewing this or if you're alive, if we're, you know, I'm here, like, I'm just in gratitude for being here, for having the opportunity, for sharing what we're sharing and also, you know, having a chance every day to just, you know, keep going and keep trying and, um, learning. So, yes. again, so have an amazing rest of the day. Um, we'll be here on the third week also and, um, keep keep plugged in, you know, you can, you can uh, follow us on Fempreneur Friday now on our Instagram. And also you can follow us here. Um, we're gonna keep you updated with calendar events and things that are coming up. And yeah, we love you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also uh, check our YouTube too, because that's where you if you ever need support in between when we're like not on or anything like that, 
we have a multitude of videos that all have different topics and you can like select the topic that is really kind of fitting whatever you're going through at the time. Um, Cause we're really just here to support communities. So you can join our discord, um, the link in the Fempnor, at Fempnor Friday um, bio. All of our stuff is over at Fempnor Friday. So we're so happy you came on today. We're so happy each and every one of you guys are here listening to us because like now moment time is really, really precious. And so we're really thankful that you chose to spend this little bit of time um, intentionally with us. Um, that really, really means a lot. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. That's, That's all. I feel complete. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel full. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.